If you have been on the internet for any period of time, I'm pretty positive you have already seen some Polish memes floating around in the cyberspace. Whether they're funny, whether they're offensive, I don't know. I've seen some of them. I think they're pretty great. And so I decided that I'm in need of a laugh today and I want to sit down and react to some of these memes with you guys. So I'm going to be having the meme here on the screen and I'm just going to be reacting to it. I haven't seen these before, so I'm actually really excited <laughs> to see what the internet has populated because I think it could be either super hilarious or kind of offensive, but isn't that what makes a great meme? So if you guys are interested in seeing me react to some of these Polish memes, then go ahead and keep on watching. But before you do, be sure to give this video a thumbs up button and subscribe to my channel. So I know you guys like this kind of content. I put out new videos once a week talking about my life in Poland as an American expat and my thoughts about living abroad. So let's go ahead and dive into some Polish memes. I have my computer right here. So I am going to be looking at these for the first time on my computer. So I'm, on, I'm going to put the meme right here so you guys can see what we are looking at. So, oh, this first, this first one. Ah, oh my gosh, it's, what's funny about the Polish language is that every country usually has a different name in Poland, uh, whereas in like normal languages, it's all, it's all the same. So this is such a good example. Um, Americans and Britons, or, you know, Italy, Italia, Italian, Italia, Italia, and then Poland, Włochy. <laughs> It's just so funny to me because when I, that's hilarious because when I first learned uh, Polish and took classes and they were going through the names of the countries, I just did not understand why so many other countries in the world call Italy some sort of Italy, Italian, whatever, and then Poland, nope, Wolk, Wolk. That is absolutely hilarious to me. Oh my gosh, this next one. <laughs> I literally can't, oh my gosh. Uh, you can see here, this is, this is about World War II. And I think it's, <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, so, so uh, it looks like this may not be an actual meme, but it's like a kid's homework. So you're talking about like filling in what different countries in World War II uh, had to deal with. And so Germany wanted to conquer Eastern Europe, Italy, Africa, Japan, Asia, Britain, stop Germany, Italy, France, stop Germany, Italy, and Poland just to just exist. And if you guys know anything about World War II history um, over here in Europe, you guys probably know that Poland had it really hard during those times and even much after World War II ended. So <laughs> poor Poland has just been through a lot in the last hundred years or so. And while this is, it's funny, it's also kind of sad too, to think about the history and the struggles that the Polish people have had, but yet they've come out on top and they have really been so, so perseverant about everything. Oh my gosh, <laughs> I guess this one just kind of correlates with what we just talked about. Uh, Poland exists in a random country about 100 years. Is this for me? I mean, you can't really argue with that. If you look at the Polish history, it kind of makes sense. Uh, Poland is just unfortunately situated here in Europe between Western Europe and Eastern Europe. And unfortunately, it gets caught in the middle quite often. So that's unfortunate. But this is hilarious. <laughs> oh man, okay, this one. <clears throat> so I'm not an expert on Polish names, but I can appreciate how difficult they are to say. <laughs> uh, and each Polish name means something different and it's like meaningful. Uh, and this is hilarious to me because you have like Wojciech, uh, Bojidar, like all of these ones that just mean good good things. And then in, in the West, Bob, Kyle, Tyler, and Tim, oh my gosh, are those more American names or what? Like you do not find more American names than that kind of stuff. So I just think that is absolutely hilarious uh, and oh, so very true. This one, yes, <laughs> having to explain to your non-Polish friends that pierogi is already plural. Yes, I hear this all the time, and I am guilty of making that mistake sometimes too, because in the Polish language, when you usually have an I at the end of a word, it usually means it's plural, and pierogi is by nature plural, so if you just have a single, a single pierogi, it would be pierog, not pierogi, because you're talking about multiples, but come on, let's get real, no one ever eats one pierogi or one pierog, right? I mean, let me know in the comments if you guys do that, but 
yeah, that is that is funny and it's something that I've had to learn as I learn the language, but I, yeah, that is that's very good. Oh man, okay, I guess this is just on the Polish language now. Uh, the differences between the word two and the word two in English, so like the number two. Uh, so in Polish, we can see all of these multiple ways to say two. Dwa, dwi, dwoj, dwok, dwoj, dwom, dwoma, dwoga, all of these things. And, and in English, you just have two in second. Yeah, it's very complicated. The Polish language is so difficult, and this is not just the only example. With numbers, you can have um, like verbs that are conjugated, like the word play. You can say it like 500 million ways in Polish, and in English, you just have two. So it's very difficult to learn Polish because of how many uh, different words there are for one English word. Oh, and just going right along with that, <laughs> I absolutely feel as I feel personally victimized by Polish right now because I am in Polish classes and uh, it's so hard. The language is so difficult and it, it makes your tongue go all twisty. It makes you sound like an idiot when you're trying to learn things. And I feel like yesterday in my Polish class, we were talking about um, adjectives and adverbs and how you can use them as like good, better, best in a sentence, kind of, you know, like the progression of that. And this book guy is how I felt after learning. You can do that with adverbs. It hurt my head so much, but you know, you only can learn. So anyways, <laughs> I can very much relate to that. Oh, okay, and this one. Uh, even though Polish is really, really hard, sometimes it's easy. In this case in point, prosia, prosia can go for so many different things. Pardon, please, go ahead, here you are. Prosia, 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 <laughs> over and over and over. So uh, <clears throat> that one is, that one is good. I appreciate that. Oh man, okay, this one. So the types of headaches <laughs> that Poland experiences, uh, migraine, hyperintension, stress, and then being stuck between Germany and Russia. Then, like that little buffer in between, the west and the east, poor Poland really gets hit with a lot of stuff. And yeah, poor Poland and then all the other countries just wanna conquer it and make it a part of their area. And it's just hard. So appreciate the Poles because they've been through a whole lot. <laughs> My gosh, this one, gold, literally gold. Uh, you have like different surveillance systems, UK, US, and then Poland. So it's just like normal surveillance systems everywhere in the world, like CCTV. And then in Poland, it's just the grandmas, like the babchas. Oh man, the babchas. <laughs> I personally don't have a babcha here in Poland. Like she, my babcha is in America, but um, like the Polish babchas that my friends have, they all say this exact same thing. They are like the babchas are like next level. You don't mess with babcha and I, yeah. I think that's hilarious because I know Polish people have Polish friends who have this and it seems very accurate to me. Let me know in the comments below if your babcha is like this. <laughs> I love this one because it just encompasses, again, the difficulty of the Polish language and of Polish names. So if you've ever wondered if someone is Polish, you just have to look. If you, can, if you don't see really any vowels in a name, chances are they are Polish. Oh my gosh. And this one. I think it's so great. Uh, because, because you see the Pope here, and the Pope, uh, John Paul II, actually was Polish. Uh, he's not just some Polish guy. But again, if you're not in Poland or like no Polish history or you're not Catholic, you may not get that reference, but I think it's hilarious. And uh, man, John Paul II, man, what a guy. Okay, <laughs> and then the last one. Oh my gosh, this is great. Polish history in a nutshell. You see Jack Sparrow is Poland running away from all of these countries and uh, dictatorships. <laughs> and it's just so true, because as we talked about a little earlier, the Polish history is very rough and just so many people have always wanted to be in Poland and take it over and um, yeah, just, Poor Poland, <laughs> poor Poland, I, I shouldn't laugh, but also at the same time, it's pretty good. So I know that there are hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of memes out there, but these are just some that I came across 
just as a quick Google search and these are the, the top ones that really popped up. So if you guys have any funny memes or you see funny ones that you like, please send them over. I love this kind of stuff. I think they're so much fun and um, especially about Poland because there seem to be so many about Poland, maybe more so than other parts of Europe. I don't know why, like, is it just me or does Poland have the meme factor? I don't know, people just love to make fun of Poland. I don't really know why, but it makes for some good entertainment. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please be sure to give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel. Again, new videos every single week, would love to have you back. So um, thanks for sticking around. I'll see you in my next one.